that lower drop, pick up that tension, and sweep that needle through. If you get a good rip, you can hang that needle in that rip. And I can feel it hitting the bottom, wiggling, dancing, and it's just gonna kind of sweep through. And uh, this is not the best spot, but work a bit of beach and you might find a spot that your needle will swing back and that's what it's starting to do. Your needle will swing back in and back out. And that's when you're really working it right, when that needle goes back and forth. And you can see how sweepy that water is. So that's basically the primary cast. All right, tonight there's a, a big, churny, sweepy surf, pretty big water. Um, but there are some fish around, so I'm going to see if we can get into some. I don't know if you can see what's happening out there, but it's really heavy, heavy, heavy sweep. And uh, But I have had fish, so I'm going to see what I can get in this. Um, sure, we'll pick something out, but uh, just getting started here. And uh, well, let's get fishing. All right, getting started here. We are on fish. Well, first fish of the night. He grabbed the black needle. Let me get back. The surf is raging. So. And one in the fish. I'm going to get him going and maybe we'll get something bigger tonight. And he grabbed that needle. So, all right, let's see. So it's sweeping from my left to my right, as you can see. So I'm going to throw, I like to throw a heavy needle fish uh, in this. Um, it's going to tumble and turn in that surf. You can also work it further out. Um, and as long as you feel it skimming the bottom, it's working right. I uh, like it, these, these things. I love the I love fishing needlefish. There's so many things you can do with them in so many situations. Probably the only lure you need. But uh, I am fishing it in conjunction with a teaser. And uh, night like this, I would expect to get most of the fish on the needle, just because the visibility is going to be greater. But uh, exclusively fishing a black red heavy sinking needlefish tonight. Heavy, heavy surf. He's a little bigger. get him on his way on a big surf sweeping sweeping water um, bucktail will work great too um, if you are a buck you know I'm thinking three ounces tonight at least um, two and a half two minimum uh, but three ounces but uh, something like this the water's welling up and down every now and then you can get a most of the fish I'm getting you get a that right cast you could tie time the waves but it's tough because sometimes you're just fishing and you get it in the hole and you sweep that needle through but then other times what I will do is I will cast to my left so water sweeping right catch up with my line it's gonna swing in you want to maintain some kind of tension so you can feel that lure working and these will swing these will dart and swing in the current uh, so you'll feel them working and what I'll do is I'll swing it along till it gets to the shore. Once it gets around the corner, and sometimes you can work it back and forth, but in very strong, cardy, sweepy conditions, I'll bring it in, because I, if I feel it's not working right, and I'll repeat the process. But if I get a moment lapse uh, in the wells of the water where it's calm, I'll shoot that needle straight out, 
and just kind of sweep it from a 90 degree angle just as I normally say would um, in the direction I want to fish but most of the time in this uh, when the water's welling I'll cast to my left and I'd imagine you'd work bucktails the same as such and uh, I do drop a teaser on and actually a night like tonight probably don't need the teaser but probably pick a fish or two on that oh, he grabbed that needle Get him on his way. Comes the water now. Real interesting. A lot of times I was talking about uh, waiting for that water to open up. Um, the ocean has a rhythm. A lot of times you can time the waves. So you might have six repetitive uh, pounding waves hit the beach with that big, big sweep. Then after that sixth wave, the ocean will lay out and be flat. And that's when you're fishing a sweep, that's going to be your best cast. That's when you can pinpoint your cast, hang that your needle or your whatever you're working, and uh, hang it in there as long as you can. And it's all about hang time. Um, but the ocean has a rhythm. Bigger one of the night. There he goes. Whew. When you're playing these here fish in this heavy sweep, they're when they get in that sweep, just let them do what they do. It's really gonna pull that fish. And uh, even the little guys are gonna be taking drag. Um, you can give a little, you can walk with them, but um, it's just how it goes. Real sweepy tonight, as you can see. All right. Uh, I actually did better than I expected. Um, these here definitely, to me, I, you know, it's going to be uh, getting getting that cast in there and holding that lure. Uh, it gets tricky, especially if the fish are thin. But they've been there, so um, I can't complain. And uh, just to sum it up, uh, we worked the heavy needle tonight. Most fish were on the needle fish. Um, it's black red uh, needle. And uh, most fe fish were on it. We might have had one on a teaser tonight. And uh, working the heavy sweep, uh, hoping for something better, but I, I can't complain. Uh, pulled out, uh, well, four fish, three and a half. And I had uh, one other on, I'm pretty sure, but they, those bass are pet pretty tricky you know you know side butt that their middle hook and uh, that's when you lose them especially when in that sweep when they get caught up in that and get all that tension light drag sometimes helps but uh, that's it <laughs> I am gonna get out of here but uh, thanks for watching please like dislike comment uh, subscribe to the channel or not and remember always fish your way and have a great afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are.